Deciding whether your contribution should be pre-tax or Roth is an every year decision, depending on your circumstances. When should you Roth? When should you not Roth? I've got two examples of each. That and more coming up. My name is Mike Bernard. I'm the host of The Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners right here at Corhorn Financial Group. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and smash that thumbs up button. A lot of financial professionals, especially those on YouTube or, you know, Dave Ramsey and others, they just say Roth, 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 as if that's an automatic, in every situation, you should fund your Roth IRA. Everything should be Roth. And, you know, flip side that to some financial professionals say, get the tax deduction. Everything should be pre-tax. If you can get a deduction today, you have no idea what's going to happen in the future. Pre-tax, pre-tax, pre-tax. I think that's crazy. And it's sort of the um, the cherry on top of this was, this is many years ago, my wife at her employer, uh, they had the 401k specialist out and they, the 401k specialist was giving a presentation to the employees talking about what they should do with their 401k, blah, blah, blah. And um, someone asked the question, is there ever a time that you should do both pre-tax and Roth in your 401k? And the person you know, up there said, no, that is stupid, actually. They, <laughs> they use that strong a language. That's stupid. No one would ever do that. That's exactly what we were doing at the time because of our tax situation. Guys, you've got to look at your tax circumstance. Now, it's not that we did that for a long time. It was just given the situation with the age of our kids and what our overall income was going to be. We kind of, we rode the fence there and made some adjustments at the, at the end of the year, but it depends on your tax situation. It depends on your tax situation and your tax situation can change all the time. Depends on today's tax situation, what you expect in the future, that can change all the time. Are you gonna have, are you gonna get that bonus this year or not? Will your hours go down or not? Are you gonna sell an investment as capital gain or not? Did you receive an inheritance or not? All these things can change. Did, did Congress make any changes? So making a decision whether you should do fund your investments pre-tax or Roth, it's an annual decision. Now, most of us don't have changes that happen that quickly. And so each year it's, yep, this one still makes sense. Yep, this one still makes sense. Sometimes it's, no, this absolutely changes things. Had an individual recently where we were doing one strategy like clockwork, like clockwork, like clockwork, all of a sudden dad passed away. He inherited $600,000. That changed everything. And we took the uh, our contributions and our tax strategies up a notch and we made some changes. So it just depends on your situation. All right, so you've got to work with your certified financial planner. You've got to answer that question. It's the quintessential financial planning question. This is not an investment question. It's a tax question, but it impacts your cash flow, impacts your retirement, impacts your investment. So you've got to look at it from a comprehensive perspective. So boilerplate, two times. What are two times when you should do the Roth? You still need to work with your CFP, but two times when, yes, you should do the Roth. The first, early in your career right when you get started, your very first job. They have a 401k available, you say absolutely, contribute 15% and you fund that Roth. You don't need to think about it too much. You don't need to run all sorts of projections. It's your first job, you're early in your career. Likely you're still building skills. You, hopefully you're making a good income, you're, but, but if you continue building skills, you'll make more in the future. And therefore, from the very beginning, I would do Roth. I would do Roth because your income likely will be going up and these dollars will be the ones that have the most opportunity for compound growth. Having that in a Roth, a tax-free account makes the most sense. So right at the beginning of your career, I, to me, very little doubt I would start I would start with Roth. If your first job is with a simple IRA, simple, you can't do Roth, not yet. So I would consider funding a Roth IRA, but earlier in your career, right at the beginning of your career, hit that Roth. And then the second time, when I would say Roth is if your income is down, if you have a drop in your income this year, and that can happen a few different ways. One, your hours get cut, like we're seeing in, in our community. Uh, the economic slowdown is starting, has been hitting our community. Some people, their hours are cut. If you're, if you're paid on commission, and your sales go down, all of a sudden your commission goes down. If you get some of your pay via variable pay, you got a flat salary but then a bonus and you're not receiving some of those bonuses, your income's down. If you normally get rental income or you own a small business or own a side hustle and normally you've got lots of income coming in but you don't right now, that income's down. Those are times when you wanna do 
a Roth. When your income drops, that's a time when you say, well, I might not need the tax deduction of funding pre-tax, therefore I should fund my Roth and allow those dollars to grow tax-free for the future. Those are two times that you should Roth, still work with your CFP. There's a lot more than that. I'm a big fan of the Roth IRA. It just doesn't fit in every, every scenario. So what are two times when you should be funding pre-tax? What are two times when you should not do a Roth? Well, the first is when your adjusted gross income is right above a threshold where you're gonna miss out on some tax credits. We're gonna miss out on some tax credits, okay? So I'm thinking American Opportunity Tax Credit, a college tax credit. I see this all the time. I've, I've, we've gotten clients that have come over to Corhorn Financial Group because they said, listen, uh, you know, my, my, my financial advisor totally missed this. Yeah, because your financial advisor didn't look at your taxes at all. You're, you have someone else doing your taxes. You've got someone else recommending your investments. They, don't have, they have no idea what each other is doing, and of course you miss it. So in, at this time period, this is a couple of years ago, their income from, with some bonuses and whatnot had gotten just above the 165,000 adjusted gross income level. Um, and all of a sudden what they were, I think it was 10,000 above that. And they were getting $2,500 for, um, for American Opportunity Tax Credit, so college tax credits, and it went down to a few hundred dollars. And that's a big deal. When all of a sudden your refund is that amount and it drops by two grand, that's a big, that's a big deal. All it took was, now nah, let's stop doing Roth and let's do pre-tax for these couple more years while your daughter's in college. That's all it takes. Retirement savers credit's another one. Um, what about uh, child and dependent care credits? If your income is slightly above that threshold, and if you had a deduction instead, you could get below that threshold and receive some tax, credit, uh, tax credits or bigger tax credits, you should do that. You should do that. Those are times when instead of doing Roth, you should do pre-tax, get the deduction, get your adjusted gross income below that level and get some more tax credits. Premium tax credits for, uh, for Affordable Care Act or Obamacare, Marketplace, whatever you wanna call it, that's another huge one. Oh my goodness, you go slightly above that limit and all of a sudden you've gotta repay all sorts of tax credits on your tax return. You could owe thousands of dollars versus doing pre-tax, getting your income just below that threshold, all of a sudden, wham, you, you have none of those taxes that you need to repay and you're in good standing. So that'd be the time to do pre-tax instead of Roth. And then a second easy scenario, we just had this one last week at the KFG offices, we're doing case class, meaning we've got a new client that's come in, we get several financial advisors, tax professionals, insurance professionals all together to look at their case and see, okay, well, what makes sense? How are things working? What are the right strategies to consider? And so it's, a, it's sort of a team-based team -based approach um, that, we, that we do for, for new clients. And we were looking and this individual was funding uh, Roth Investments, and, but they were in a scenario where they were earning a decent living, they were single, they were earning about 80 grand, and that was putting them in the 22% tax bracket, but they barely spent any money. They, their, their lifestyle was very, very low, spent maybe two grand a month, I mean, not much at all. And so they were funding the Roth, so meaning they were paying tax at the 22% tax bracket, but they were 64. And when they flipped over to retirement, they weren't gonna retire until about 70, but they were gonna be in the 12% tax bracket because they didn't need to withdraw a lot to spend and their RMD wasn't gonna be that much either. So get the tax deduction right now and avoid the 22% tax bracket because you're gonna be in the 12% tax bracket in the future. When you can analyze that and say, and, and it's that scenario where I make a lot of money pushing me in a high tax bracket today, but I don't spend a lot. So I'm gonna be in a low tax bracket in the future. Those are times when you would do pre-tax instead of Roth. There's a lot more to consider, and there's a lot more than just two reasons on each side. You've gotta work with your certified financial planner. Again, it doesn't need to be overly complicated, but each year you need to confirm, hey, should I be doing Roth? Should I be doing pre-tax? As something changes, hey, should I do pre-tax? Should I do Roth? That's a quintessential financial planning decision. Your certified financial planner who's doing comprehensive financial planning, they're in the right position to help you. They can give you that guidance. If you don't have a CF CFP on your team that can help you with that, contact one on my team. Find us online, corhorn.com. That's corhorn with a K, wisemoneyshow.com. You can find us there as well or send us an email, info at corhorn.com. All right, there you have it. Go out and take your next wise step in your financial life.